last video, then you got a little peek at the decorating process of this mantle garland here behind me. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it step by step. I did was decide how I was going to attach my garland to the mantle. Now there are several ways you can do this, but there were a few factors that contributed to my decision to use the technique that I'm going to show you here today. I know all mantles can be unique. Mine is actually made out of stucco with a rough finish. That means command hooks don't stick to it very well and it chips really easily at times. So I knew I also didn't want to use heavy garland hooks on the front. I decided that I would try using wire, just run right at the back of the base of my mantle. I found this one on Amazon, I'll link it for you, but picture wire will work just as well. All I did was add two screws at each corner of the fireplace, right at the top of the base of my mantle, so you can't even see them, and then I took that wire and ran it from one side to the other, attaching it to both screws. I chose to use this wire technique for a few reasons. First, it doesn't damage my mantle, which is great. Second, it's easy to hide once my design is complete. And third, using this wire coupled with the zip ties to attach the garland makes it very easy for me to get the right swag or hang off the front of my mantle that I want. It's good for us to remember that garland is often heavier than we think, especially when we layer it like we're going to do today. So having something sturdy to attach it to is really important so that your design doesn't fall and so that you don't damage your mantle. I'm using two different garlands to achieve this look today. One is my focal garland and another to just simply add volume since we're going for a pretty voluminous design, especially down the side here. I'm using four six foot pieces of my main garland. This one is from Hobby Lobby and roughly two and a half pieces of this nine foot garland that I purchased at Michael's several years ago as filler. Now for this particular design, I chose to use garland that was not pre-lit. Using garland without lights allows me to be able to cut that garland into smaller pieces when needed so I can achieve the look that I'm going for. I start by building a base for my design. I'm using the pieces that I want front and center first, attaching those to the wire. I'm doing this because I want to ensure that I get the right hang or swag right off the front of my mantle. And by doing it with the pieces that will be facing forward first, I'm getting that right height with my design that's going to be front and center. After I attach this, I can really begin to build out the rest of my design and add that fullness behind that front main layer. So now I'm going to layer it with this garland that I've had for many, many years. I haven't used this since like two houses ago. This is over probably a decade old, but I kept it in a really good condition. It's been in a bin and I'm going to use it as filler because I really like the detail on this garland. Some of the branches are different styles a little bit. It's still simple. Got some pine cones on there. So I'm gonna double this over. So what we're trying to do, I want this to be really, really full here because we're doing like a statement here and then it's going to come down. focusing on the garland that runs down the side of the mantle here because this is where I want the most volume in my design. I didn't need to run the wire down this side since I'm using my focal garland as a base to attach my filler garland to. Each strand is snugly zip tied together so the design holds its shape. I'm adding my fourth and final piece of focal garland right to the front to finish out the side. The next step is to add some twinkle lights. I found these twinkle lights on Amazon. They actually come in a pack of six with a remote and the battery's already in them. Eight different settings, which is awesome. I've already used them all over my house in my holiday designs this year. So they're a pretty good find. I'm gonna link it below in case you're looking. After we 
we've added the twinkle lights, it is time to add the finishing touches, which is some ribbon and some bells. I am using one of my favorite red velvet ribbons. I get this at Walmart every year. I've bought it every year for the past three years, and you'll see it all through my home. I used it on my tree, I'm using it here, and throughout all of my holiday design this year. Now, if you want a really in-depth look at how to add this ribbon to this garland, I have two ribbon tutorial videos one using this very same ribbon on my Christmas trees and the technique is exactly the same. So I'm gonna put those videos in the description box below and hopefully they will be helpful to you. Watching those videos will show you how to do exactly this technique and show you how to do that faux bow on the corner that you see here at this focal point on the mantle. After that, I add in my bells. Two different sets of bells that I picked up at Hobby Lobby this year. I added the first in by just tucking the top of the rope into the garland here and attaching it with zip ties. I got it to the height I wanted, and then I just took a small zip tie and attached those bells in there. And then I added in the second set of bells right underneath that right here, doing the same thing, taking that rope and attaching it with a zip tie right in the back of that garland, you can't even see it. Know that when you're doing these designs, it's not about perfection, it's really about just playing around with it. I just take the ribbon and go for it. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. I will be happy to answer you. And don't forget, I have another garland tutorial video coming very soon where I share with you how I've added garland to my home this year in a pretty unique way, at least I think so. And I'm gonna share with you in that video how I added garland to my banister. So I hope you'll join me back here on my channel. Be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications because we have so many more holiday videos to come. We are just getting started this season. Thank you for taking some time out of your day to hang out with me. I appreciate you and I'll see you soon.